I'm Janae Price, and welcome to Ride With Me. The show where we talk to people we love. Philly is tough. About the places they love. You know, that is the place that, if I'm not DJ Jazzy Jeff, I'm old school Jeff. Today, we're catching up with Philly royalty, DJ Jazzy Jeff. We're going to get his recommendations for Philadelphia's South Street area. If the first part is surreal, I haven't figured out what the second part is yet. And of course, I'll be heading there myself to check them out. So come along and ride with me. Hey, Jazz, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's such an honor to speak with you today. This is such a cool space you got. Is this like your studio or where are we right now? Yes, this is um, actually my area. I don't really like big studios because they're a little bit impersonal. So I have everything I need right here. So this is my Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Ooh, okay. So tell us where you're gonna be taking us today. Today, I'm taking you to the South Street area in Philadelphia. South Street was one of the streets that has been world-renowned from anybody from Philly. I probably was about 18, 19 years old when South Street became the thing for us. Me and all of my friends just discovered that we could go to South Street and there were pizza shops and there were clothing stores and it was just this really vibrant. If, you know, people who are familiar with New York, it was almost like the village. That became the place every Friday and Saturday night. Philly is tough. You don't necessarily want to give it that stereotype, but that is the honest to God truth. They expect you to give your best. And this goes with music, sports, anybody. If you give your best, you can lose. But if they know that you gave your best, they're going to ride with you. It's a blue collar town. But what that did for me, especially, you know, musically is I don't take any shortcuts. Everything that I am today, I owe to Philadelphia. You don't ever forget where you come from because who I am is a result of where I come from. Thank you, good sir. Who's up? I don't know which way we're walking. So where are we going to first? So the first location that we're going to, it is Ishka Bibbles on South Street. Ishka Bibbles, and no disrespect to Geno's and Pat, but mm. Geno's and Pat's are the places that you take tourists. A true Philadelphian would be really, really upset if you put Cheese Whiz on a cheese steak. That's a tourist thing. I'm sorry, Jazzy. I'm sorry I had to do it. Ishka Bibbles is the real place that you go to get a cheese steak. If we're on South Street and somebody's like, oh my God, I want to get a cheese steak. I see you stop them. Nope, nope, we're going to Ishka Bibbles <laughs> and I'm going to get you a cheese steak and a gremlin and, and you're set. What is your go-to order when you're going to Ishka Bibbles? I don't eat cheese, so okay. I get me a plain steak with mayonnaise, ketchup, salt and pepper, and fried onions. Can I do a Philly cheese steak with mayonnaise, ketchup, and uh, fried onions? No cheese? Yeah, no cheese. And I get a gremlin, which is a lemonade and grape juice mixed together. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We never really sat in Ishka Bibbles. You would go to the window and you would order and you would stand outside and then the guy <laughs> would give it to you and you would walk up South Street drinking your grimoire. It's addictive and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go back for a little bit more. <sighs> the next stop is Copa Banana. I never realized how hard it was to say Copa Banana. We never said the whole name. We would just say, yo, meet me at Copa. Oh, this is cute. Copa is very, very known for their burgers and Copa is known for their margaritas. And they have these fries that have onions and jalapenos. They call, oh man, Copa fries. See, listen, you are going back. Where it gets dangerous, is because 
the jalapenos make the fries hot. And you try to cool your mouth down with the margarita, which is not the thing <laughs> to do. So the margarita is really kind of, it should be the dessert. And you might need to get you a lemonade or something to cool your mouth down from the, from the copa fries. How long have you guys been here? 45 years. 45 years, wow. I'll get a jalapeno on there. Honestly, the whiz fries are really good. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Mm -hmm. you know what's funny is, <laughs> the Copa is not an eye-catching place, but to me, that kind of reflects what Philly is. The Copa is real. The vibe is the people. The vibe is the place. Okay, where are we going next? The next stop is Belmont Plateau. The Belmont Plateau is very, very special, especially growing up in West Philly. Belmont Plateau is in Fairmount Park, and it's basically a place in the park where you have a complete 360 degree view of the city of Philadelphia. Hi. Hello. This is a curious guy in a curious world. That is the location that the summertime video was shot um, because that is what we did on a Sunday. Friday night, Saturday night, we're going down South Street. Sunday afternoon, you make your way out to the park. You make sure your car is clean and it's polished and you would just sit and chill. I feel like that video perfectly encapsulates like just being black in the summertime. You know what I mean? The feeling that you have coming out of the winter, the way the trees bloom, it's a special thing. And to have an amazing park like Fairmount Park in Philadelphia, you know, that's that's what summers were. You would stay out there and as the sun starts to go down, the city lights up and now you're watching the skyline of Philadelphia. It was beautiful. And we're off. The next stop is Penn's Landing. Penn's Landing was the date spot. You would catch the bus and the end of the stop would be on the waterfront. You would get off, you would walk down the ramp and you're right on the water. You would find a bench and you would sit down, watch the boats go by and hear the water splashing and kind of talk and chill. You know, it's very scenic down there and it's completely different now. They have the ice skating and they have food trucks and all the rest of this stuff, you know, to have this location and just watch how they changed it, that they're outdoor hammocks now that people just lounge in. And I'm like, it wasn't like this when I lived down here. There's a guy getting off that boat though. Is this your boat? Your crew member? Mm -hmm. Ah! Who are you going to Penn's Landing with? You said in the past you would go there with a date, but is this more of a family spot for you or? I would take my wife there just to show her that this is, you know, because it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful location, but just to kind of show her, you know, some of the landmarks in Philly. Ooh, well. <laughs> That's one of the places that if someone had never come to Philly, that you would take them and show them. Ooh, yes, thank you. Okay, what's our last spot? Finally, we're ending the night at Lorenzo's Pizza. Lorenzo's Pizza is the best pizza on the planet at 2 a.m. when the club lets out. It don't taste great if you bought it at 2 a.m. and you ate it at 2.30. It don't translate, it don't travel well. It's, they, they're turning the pizzas over like this. It's gonna come out the oven, they're gonna put it on a paper plate. It's gonna be grease on the bottom of the plate that if you let the tip of the pizza lean over, it's gonna spill on your sleeve. So you just know to bite that first piece in the beginning as soon as it comes out of the oven. Is it weird that I kind of want to like slap someone in the face with this? I have worked at a pizza room where that's happened. Oh, really? <laughs> so have you heard of the Philly Taco Challenge? Not at all. The Philly Taco Challenge is when you take a slice of Lorenzo's and you wrap it around a Philly cheese stick. You know, <laughs> at the age that I am now, I would never do that. If this was in my 20s, 
I would have probably had to try that at some point in time. For the love of Philly, we're gonna do it. Is it good? No, not at all. After the club lets out and everybody goes, sometimes people will kind of let you go because if you did a good job in the club, they like, yo, let Jeff get his pizza so he can get out of here. And you would dap everybody up. And that was really the place that you could go, that no matter how big you got, it was home. You know, that is the place that I'm old school Jeff. I'm not DJ Jazzy Jeff. I'm not the television guy. That's Jeff. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking us, you know, around Philly, down memory lane. This has been great. I feel like I know so much more about Philly now. Tell the good people what all you have going on nowadays. Once the pandemic hit, I started live streaming. Um, I do a magnificent lunch break every Wednesday from noon to one. We do a magnificent house party every Saturday or every Friday night. That is basically, I'm the DJ and you have the club. And that has been really, really good and a lot of fun. I can reach more people in a stationary location than traveling all over the globe. And I'm in the studio making a bunch of music. So I am, I'm in my happy place. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been great once again to talk to Philly royalty, man. I have to now make a special trip to Philly that I know is gonna add about six pounds on and I hope it's good because it won't be two o'clock in the morning because I'm old now and I don't like staying up at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yes, have a Philly day, you deserve it. Absolutely. It's terrible. It's so good. But terrible in a good way. Hello, Monsieur Chili Pepper. You're so cute. You wanna play? Bye!